Happy Monday, world, and welcome to another episode of Good News from Around the World. There are a ton of incredible stories that I'm excited to share with you guys. Let's get started. Did you guys know there's a walking fish? I'm serious. A walking fish was just discovered in the Himalayas. This is called a snakehead fish, and it lives in the water. It doesn't even have legs, but it actually comes out of the water and kind of slithers around like a snake. It's a fish. It has gills and it breathes underwater, but for some reason, every now and then, it decides to come on the surface and it can live for up to four days on land. I didn't know that this fish existed and I would never expect for it to be in the Himalayas. If I'm going to discover a new species of fish, I'm not going to look up in mountains. This makes me think that mermaids could possibly exist. I mean, if fish can leave the water and survive days, why can't some humans go in the water and survive days? In Manchester, there was a group of homeless people that snuck into an abandoned building to get some shelter. They didn't want to vandalize the place or break any windows or spray paint. They just wanted a place to sleep. Little did they know that the building was recently purchased by Manchester United football stars Ryan Giggs and Gary Neville. Now when these two got a call that there were homeless people occupying the building that they just bought, they decided to let them stay. They weren't renovating the place for a few months, so why not let the homeless people stay in the building and keep warm out of the rain and the cold weather. When the homeless people heard the news that they were allowed to stay for months in this building, they were so happy that they decided to clean the place up. They wanted to leave it better than when they found it. Let's get real. My whole life I was told that styrofoam and plastic were destroying Mother Earth. Well, it turns out that mealworms can actually eat styrofoam and it doesn't harm them. They eat it and they have enzymes in their digestive system that break it down and when it passes through their body, all you get is waste. Natural poo like every other animal and it doesn't wreck Mother Earth. What's incredible is that they can survive off it and it's not harmful to them at all. They're healthy mealworms after they've eaten styrofoam. Now scientists want to study these enzymes that are in their stomach and actually use those enzymes to help break down all the plastic and styrofoam that's in landfills and in the oceans. Speaking about landfills and waste, 30 UN leaders met to have lunch and to discuss agriculture and climate change. Now the chef that was making them lunch decided to create them a special menu that was called a landfill lunch. He sourced food that was going to be thrown out by grocery stores and restaurants and used that food to prepare them a meal. Now it wasn't rotten disgusting food, but maybe it just wasn't pleasant enough to be shown in stores or served at a restaurant. I doubt these leaders expected to be served the food that landed on their plate. And the chef had a menu that explained everything that was there that they were being served. On the coast of California are about 700 acres of beautiful land owned by Bill Richardson. Now this land used to belong to the Kashia tribe for the Pomo Indians. Now these Indians used to live there and they would hunt and they would fish and they would live for generations on this land. The Indians were removed from their land 200 years ago and since then the Richardson family has owned the land. Now Bill Richardson currently lives there with his family and he's decided to give the land back to its native Indians. Earth now has its very first drone airport. In Rwanda and Africa, an airport opened up that is just for unmanned aerial vehicles. Now these drones are going to be bringing supplies to a remote place in Rwanda. Now if you were to walk or try and drive, it would take days or maybe weeks to get to this remote place. Now it's very important that they receive medical supplies and food and books and water and things that we get from our local grocery store. There's no one controlling these drones. They know exactly where to go and what to do. They go to different docking stations where they can get recharged or exchange batteries, drop off supplies, pick up more supplies, and move on to the next destination. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
click the like button if you like this video, and subscribe for more good news. I'm curious to know, what was your favorite story in this video? And if you have any other ideas for future videos I'm going to make, let me know in the comment box below. Oh, I have a challenge. I want you guys to high five a stranger today. It'll probably make you smile and it'll make somebody else smile. Happy Monday guys, high five. There's a new program being introduced into the school system that's two 15 minute sessions of meditation. The students are asked to sit in silence, to breathe deeply and to relax their mind. Oh, math class time. There's a bird called the lyre bird that actually can mimic sounds to a T. It can produce different sounds like a camera shutter or a chainsaw that sounds exactly like those items. 